Collets are sometimes known as chucks, uh, split chucks, and wire chucks. Collets are numbered 1 through 50, and the numbers are stamped on the face of the collet. Let's take a look at these. Uh, get a close up. And you can see this one down here is stamp number 34, the one above it is stamp 34, and they all have numbers stamped on them. And the number represents the inside diameter of the collet hole right there in the center. They are in tenth of a millimeter increments. So a number one would translate to a tenth of a millimeter. And a number 50 would be five millimeters. Uh, the smaller collets are numbered one through ten and they also come in half sizes. This is because there's a greater difference between the smaller sizes. For example, uh, if you're going from a size one to a size two, that's, double, that's doubling the size or 100% increase in the size of the collet. Whereas going from a number 48 here to a number 50 is slightly less than a 2% increase. So sizes, li sizes larger than 50 are available up to 85, but they are step collets and they look more like these. And if you can see inside, there's like a step. They don't go all the way through. Whereas this number 50 if you can look through it, it goes all the way through to the back with no change in size. But the step uh, cannot go all the way through at that diameter, so it's stepped inside. The smaller collets generally 1 through 12 and that would be the ones across the back row here. Number one is missing and let's see number 27 is missing. Uh, currently they're in use but this is a full set of 50. The half sizes are also used in, in watch repair. The larger sizes are best suited for clocks. Uh, therefore a person who only works on clocks would not need sizes 1 through 12 for example. Uh, since a full set of collets can be expensive you should only buy what you need. If you only want to work on clocks to minimize the cost, cost, you may want to buy either odd numbers, let's say number 13 through 49, or even numbers number 14 through 50. Later you can complete your set as, as funds allow in order to have a complete set of all odd and even numbers. Since size variations are greater with the smaller numbers, therefore it's best to have all the odd or even numbers of the smaller size before completing your set uh, with the higher number collets. Now the prices of collets can range anywhere from $5 to $25 each. Collets priced at $5 would probably not be worth buying. Uh, most likely they're in poor condition or, or they've been abused. Usually you can find decent collets for about $10 to $15 each. If you buy in quantity, you might get a better price. Now collets should be stored in a standing position like this and be separated from the others and they shouldn't be kept loose in a drawer or stored with other tools in a, in a toolbox.